Hello everyone and happy Singles Awareness Day. It's Dia de Amor en Amistad and I'm gonna draw some ships to celebrate. By the way, that's Spanish for um, Day of Love and Friendship, so you're not so alone after all. At least I hope you have friends. <laughs> Alright, so all of the ships included in this video were suggested to me via Twitter. I try to be a little bit more interactive with my videos and content, but I can't really do that on YouTube right now, so Twitter is kind of my only viable option whenever I want to do something more interactive. I make polls on Twitter or open up a suggestion box and stuff like that. So if you're interested in like interacting with me more, follow me on Twitter. Anyway, for this video, I'm going to be doing a double draw with ships and candied hearts. I have some ships written down on pieces of paper and some candied hearts in a different container. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a ship name from the container with the paper and a candied heart from the cup. And I'm going to put them together and essentially what's written on the heart is the theme for the drawing. Of the ship. To make things even more fun, I've also made some custom hearts. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> anyway, let's get started. <laughs> Nemesis Blood Rank. Okay. Thank you for that. Um, we have rock and pen, and can you read that? Let me see. Love you. The love you thing that I couldn't see anything on it was one of my customs because you can't really see the text, so I was just like, screw it. It's actually the uh, Lenny face. So I don't know how I'm going to draw a lewd rock and pen, but um, that's apparently what we got. All right, so this ship is kind of special because it's one of Nemesis ships. <laughs> it's a huge inside joke from uh, one of his videos. He does a lot of like death battles but he calls them not death battle because it's a parody um and one of his series is uh where he takes inanimate objects and it's so dumb but it's so good and um rock x pen is a ship <laughs> that just kind of happened from his videos it's great um like i think the most viewed video with his inanimate objects i think is pen no it's rock versus paper versus scissors and it's fucking hilarious <laughs> my friends are a bunch of dorks and i love them uh so yeah uh this drawing actually took me way too long to do because i decided to do it in paints and uh i haven't used this sketchbook in forever and i forgot how it reacts to paint especially the way I paint. Um, I don't use my watercolors correctly. I tend to like um, lay it on really thick, which is what you're not supposed to do with watercolors. And I also mix in um, like white paint and it, you're not supposed to do that. <laughs> what I really need to do is buy me some gouache, but uh, I, I, I'm cheap. So for now, Watch me use watercolors incorrectly. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's the first of these drawings. I am so happy that Nemesis decided to add his little bits of humor in his suggestion because every time he gets involved with anything, it's always going to be fun. Oh, I want the yellow one! The yellow one! I'm so bad at this. I grabbed a completely different yellow one than the one I was going for. Not that it matters. I don't know what each of them says. Blake and Sun. All right, Black Sun. Um, so we got a heart. All right. I don't know what any of these say. It also says, "Love you." That's um. Uh, 
less creative. Thank you, hearts. So Blake and Sutter are actually pretty popular, at least in my experience. Um, of the twenty six ships that I included in this, at least four of them included Blake or Sun. So there was Blake X trash can, which was put in as a joke, and I still included it because, you know, someone wanted crack ships. Uh, Blake and Yang, so Bumblebee, Black Sun, there was Sun X Neptune. I don't remember if I put in another one of my Sun ships, but, you know, that was a lot considering it was a short list of ships that I had to draw from. Um... I like Black Sun. I, I, I think it's cute. I think Bumblebee is also pretty good, but I, I find the two ships pretty similar. Only because, well, I mean, they both have Blake, but they pair her with a, you know, someone who's like the embodiment of Sunshine. Like Sun and Yang, where they're both, you know, like blonde, energetic you know, caring, kind, uh, you know, <laughs> I find the ships too similar, so I like them both. Can we have both? <laughs> Black Sun versus Bumblebee is one of the weirdest things about this fandom. Like, they're both really good ships, but people, people fight over it a lot, and it's like, they're both good, man, they're both good. <laughs> So yeah, for this drawing, I'm just drawing the main cute. The uh, prompt was love you, and I just wanted them to like feel cuddly and looking at each other like, yeah, I love you. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> oh my god. Um, I really do love ships of this kind of dynamic. Just the kind of polar opposites, but they work so well together, you know? Flexen and Bumblebee both have it, so y you you see where I'm coming from, right? <laughs> if it's another Love You, I'm going to pick a different candy. And we got a pink one. <gasps> Ren and Nora with... Let's get an orange one. Oh, the blush one. Yas. Yas. Alright, so Renora is a ship I actually do ship. And I fucking love Renora. <laughs> Oh my god, they're so cute. I love their backstory. I love how they just, they're polar opposites because she's like super energetic and he's very lethargic. And like, they're so cute. I I do love, just Renor is a good ship, okay? Um, I, I mean, like, they've been through a lot together, and they're basically each other's entire world, which is an interesting concept for a ship, because they've been together forever, and they just, like, work well together, you know, they've been together, but now they're almost together together in the series, so, you know, that's great. I, uh, man, I just love Renora. Who does it? <laughs> I think it's, like, one of the few ships in this show where people don't want to murder each other for shipping it, if that makes any sense. Ruby has the weirdest ship wars. Like, the weirdest ship wars. But, like, I get it. People get passionate about things they like, and some people put a little bit too much stake into their ships. But, you know, I feel like Renora is one of those ships that most of us can agree on. They're just so cute. And uh, so, oh, I, I'm getting diabetes thinking about it. Renora, Renora, Renora's good. Um, if you haven't watched Volume 7 yet, there's some interesting Renora developments in that one. So watch it if you haven't already. <laughs> But, uh, oh my god, Volume 8 is going to be really interesting, especially with how friends dealing with stress. Ooh, I love my ship. I love my ship. That's all I'm going to say. I love my ship. <laughs> Green one. Coco X Roman. We got a crack ship, guys. All right. That's so awkward using these gloves. It says... 
just love. Okay. I can work with that. <laughs> the, the, the hearts are less creative um, than they used to be when I was a kid. All right. So I don't really have anything to say about Coco X Roman because I've never considered that ship before. It's an interesting one. I think it makes a little bit of sense because they're both like fashionistas, like Roman Roman has those threads, you know. <laughs> and Coco's Coco's really into fashion, we know this. And kicking ass. Um so this was an interesting ship to draw. I tried to keep it you know, the, the theme was love. And I mean you can't really do much with that. I mean you could. It's one of those like themes where it's like it can be anything. So I tried to keep it, you know, tasteful because you know there's an age difference and I don't want people to assume things when I didn't choose to draw this it just kind of was chosen for me <laughs> I think it's a it's an interesting crack ship to say the least let's pick a purple one I picked these randomly by the way so I don't know what each of them say yeah Lancaster, Lancaster, that's my ship. I got lucky. Okay, um, I, mm, I dropped a candy in there. Can we do that one? Oh, wait, is it? <sighs> I'm so awkward. If it says love you, I'm not doing it. It says be mine. Yes. All right. That's fine. I'm good with that prompt. All right, we got five. So we're ending this video on Lancaster. It's a ship I really like. It's been my favorite ship since at least volume three. I did kind of see hints of it from the beginning. I just, I know I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. How how can a ship Lancaster when white rose is a thing? Uh and. To that I say, fan art and fan fiction are very convincing. I also very much like their dynamic. They're such good friends. And I feel like when it comes to relationships, people being friends is like the first thing that's important. Like, you need to be friends with the people you date or whatever. I just really, just really like this ship. I feel like they bounce off each other pretty well. There's like some shared mutual trust. They're both in positions of leadership with people trusting them to make the right decisions. I, I just feel like they have a lot of them in common and they're both dorks. They're adorkable. They're just so cute together. So yeah, I love Lancaster and I feel like most people know this about me when it comes to my ships. I, I think I'm, I'm just known as the girl that ships Lancaster because a lot of my Ruby fan art is ship art because that's just um, easier to do for me. And the majority of my Ruby fan art is Lancaster art. <laughs> so I've been exposed. Now you all know my favorite ship. <laughs> Actually, I think I'm the one that put this one in there. No one suggested it. Someone did suggest uh, White Knight, though. Not White Rose, White Knight. Which is weird, because White Rose is a huge ship in this fandom. Anyway, um, I'm ending the video on this drawing. I did pull 10 um, ships for this, but I'm severely anemic, very sick, and I have a lot going on this week, so I decided to just do five and then do another five, and part of the reason I did this was also because all of these ships are ruby ships, except for like the first one, and you know, I wanted this to be like a general fandom thing. So I wanted to shake things up and 
Luckily, the last five I did pull had a good mix of Ruby and other fandom ships, so I look forward to doing that sometime soon. So, part two, soon.